everybody, it's Dizzy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impressions video. I've got a couple new um, a foundation and a new uh, concealer. And I also wanted to try a little bit of a um, themed get ready with me. I've been seeing everyone play around with their um, Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette which um, I've seen some gorgeous looks, but I won't actually be purchasing it myself because I frankly don't like how the palette smells. I just don't like my palettes to really smell like anything. I don't mind some of the chocolate stuff, but I'm not into the peach smell. So I went and got out a bunch of my old Costa Sun shadows, the Hot Pots. You guys remember those. They were really popular a couple years ago. They're a good quality shadow. They kind of are hit and miss, but the ones that I've picked out are some of the best in these sort of warm peachy neutral tones and I thought I would play with them and see what kind of look I can get. Um, this is not a dupe for the Sweet Peach palette because I don't even have it to compare but I thought it would be fun to play with some of these colors so that is what we're going to be doing today. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply a little bit of a, um, a primer. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Anti-Aging Mattifying Lotion. I got this as a sample and I think an Ipsy bag. So I'm not going to be using very much of this. I don't put this everywhere because I have pretty dry skin. But I do put some around my nose and I rub it into my chin. So I get a little bit of a hormonal acne problem there. And uh, I want my foundation to kind of be matte in those areas and that's where if I'm going to have any shine it's going to happen. So yeah, that is that started. Next I'm going to be doing my, I think I'm going to do my eyes and then come back just in case I get some fall out. So I'm going to be applying my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do one eye and then I will do the other eye off camera so you guys don't have to have this video take like 400 years. Okay, so I'm going to use my NYX Micro Brow in Ash Brown. This is the little tiny mini brow pencil. It's like super skinny. So I'm just going to fill in a little bit with that. And I use this more to just get the shape in there. I'm using the spoolie end. And then I'm gonna take my NYX Brow Gel in Brunette. So this tiny little applicator. brush through it again and then go back in with a pencil and fill in any spots that still look a little sparse and I want a pretty defined brow today because I'm doing a little bit more of a dramatic look than I usually do I almost never do really super warm toned shadows because my hair is pink and I always worry it's gonna be like too much with it, but you know, step outside that comfort zone, try something new. So now I've got a brow kind of anchoring everything into place. Next, I'm gonna be doing the fun stuff. I'm gonna be taking my NYX Lid Lingerie. This is a pretty cool product. I hauled this recently. What this does, is it's um I'll swatch it this is in rose pearl it's this really pretty like iridescent cream shadow so I'm just gonna put that right in the middle of the lid 
and then tap it kind of around. This is my first time really using this. I put it over a shadow I already had on once and that worked really well. But this is the first time I've used it as a base. But I'm just hoping it intensifies some of the more sparkly shades. So there we go. Let me get a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there we go. I don't even know if you can see that. It's just the very slightest bit of iridescence. But it does make the eye feel a little tacky and I'm hoping that means that shadow will really, really, really stick to it. So, next I'm going to take my palette and this is the colors that I've been kind of playing with and I'm going to take just a flat brush and a little bit of the lightest color. This one's called Chamois Nude. It's just a really pretty nude vanilla shade. And I'm going to put that up by the brow bone and then into the inner corner. And then blend it just a little bit into the crease. This is just so we have something for the other shadows to blend into. Next, I'm going to be going in with a transition color. This one is a bronze peach. And I'm going to take that on that same brush and start in the outer section and then pull it across and then pull it in a little bit. So right into the crease and then kind of on each corner. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and blend that out. putting anything on the actual lid because I'm going to go back and put something there. The next color I'm going to be taking is this one, which is Oktoberfest, which is a really pretty kind of burnt brown orangey color. And I'm getting that into the deep crease. And then a little bit into the inner and outer corner. but I like the blend of all these different tones. Then I'm gonna take a clean brush and this color, which is Persian peach, which is a light yellowy peach color and use that even a little bit higher as a transition. Just a little bit. And then flip my brush and go back into the chamois nude and just make sure I don't lose my highlight. Okay, now I want to deepen things up a tad bit. I'm going to take this flat little brush and I'm going to be taking a little bit more of Oktoberfest, which was our orangey brown. And get it right in this inner corner. And then I'm going to take my darkest color, which is Chocolatier. And I'll put a link down below or a list down below of all the different colors. I bought most of these when Coastal Sense was doing one of their sales. So it was dirt cheap. And they do sales all the time. So I applied chocolate here right on that outer corner. And then I'm just going to blend it out. I just want to add a little depth right here. But I want to keep this pretty light and breezy. And 
And I'm going to take a little bit of my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, spritz the brush with it, and then I'm going to go into this color, which is called Peach, with that damp brush. And I'm just going to pack that on my lid right over that lid lingerie. And then I'm going to take a small brush. It sounds like I'm using a lot of brushes, but I just kind of grab whatever. So just take this brush and I'm going to go back into that first kind of softer shade. That was my transition shade, the bronze peach color. And I'm just blending it. So there's no harsh lines between the sparkly stuff and the not sparkly stuff. <laughs> Matte shadows. So yeah. Nice and soft. Take a smaller brush for detailing. I'm going to take this little tiny brush and I'm going to take this color, Caramel Ice. And I'm just going to apply that to the inner corner. Now, because I want this a little smoky, I'm going to go through and take a very small brush that's flat, like a push liner brush, and I'm going to take the bronze peach color and get that underneath the eye. And then a little bit of Oktoberfest, which is the orangey one. and put that on the outer rim of the eye. Okay, so now that we've got that going, I'm gonna do some liner on the inner side rim of the of lower, uh, bleh, the lower inner rim, I'm gonna be using NYX's Silky Cashmere Retractable Liner Pencil. which is a kind of a sparkly nude. And then at the top, I'm gonna do a line of ColourPop's pencil in, it wore off already, I think this is Call Me. So it's the kind of warm brown one. And I'm just kind of getting that in the lash line. And then I'm gonna curl my lashes. Okay, and I'm gonna take my Kat Von D Ink It Liner in Hemingway, which is kind of a greeny, rusty brown. It's just thicker at the outer corner of the eye. It has a little bit of like a wing effect, but it's more like downturned almost. And I'm gonna apply my mascara, which is my Essence Lash, or Lash Princess. You could definitely do a wing with this look, but I'm not because my eyes haven't been doing very well with a wing lately. I just haven't been up to my wing mojo because I've got a little bit of a hood happening, but I think that this is okay. So I'm gonna do the other eye and come back. 
Hey everybody, I'm back. Okay, so both eyes are done. I think this was a pretty fun reminder to shop your stash um, because I'm fairly happy with how this came out. So now I'm gonna move on to first impressions. I've got a concealer. This is from NYX. This is in medium. This was the lightest shade they had at my Target and I really wanted to try this concealer, so I'm trying it. Now, it's probably a little dark for me and it's got this peachy kind of undertone, which I'm hoping will correct some dark circles. So I'm just gonna put this in what I affectionately call the ditch, which is like this dark inner corner. And I'm taking a damp faux beauty blender. I figure if it's way too dark, I'm probably going to get a lighter one eventually, but today I can just blend it out with a lighter concealer on top of it or maybe put the foundation on top and see if that helps. But that is one eye to the other and I do think it actually did a decent job. I like the texture of this. A lot. Stay tuned for my monthly favorites. I will give you an update on how this did kind of throughout the day. I'll be on crease police duty because it is creasing a little but I have a lot of lines right around my eyes so I'm not real surprised. Okay, foundation. I'm also concerned the foundation will be too dark. Although the concealer I think is okay. It doesn't look super dark under there. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish in Sand. And that was the lightest color they had at my Target. So it's got a pump. I don't know. It might work. Let's see what happens. Mm, I think it's actually an okay match. It might be a little bit warmer and yellower, more yellow than I'm, I'm used to. My skin tone is neutral, leading slightly warm. So it having some yellow is something I can live with. Um, it's easier for me to cope with yellow tones than it is for me to live with like pink undertones. That just looks crazy. It makes me look like I'm dying. But if it's a little too yellow, I can just add more blush. <laughs> so this is one pump. And I'm not looking for like super high coverage. I think I'm gonna do like maybe half a pump just a little bit more and get some of that on my chin. See if I can build it a little in areas where I need it. Yeah, it looks like this is probably my match. And I went ahead and put a little bit over the concealer and I actually think that took the color down to something that matches pretty well. It's um, not looking different than my neck, so. And I like the way it feels. I think it's a pretty nice foundation all around. Nice finish too. It's matte, but it's not like, I don't look like a corpse. So, and I have dry skin and I don't feel like my dry skin is looking drier because of it. So that is a big plus there. So yeah, flawless finish looks pretty good. We'll see how it wears during the day, but right now I dig it. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and this little sample I have of the Tarte Smooth Operator Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to barely set my under eyes with it. And then right down my nose. 
and then on the chin. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of a bronzer. This is my Essence Sun Club bronzer, and this is a natural. I love this. I don't really like the products that like smell, but this smells like pina colada in like a way that's actually pretty cool. And I like this because it's a really soft bronze. And I'm not contouring, I'm just warming up around my cheek. I just kind of go around the perimeter of my face. Now, for blush, I'm actually going back into my little peach palette, and I'm gonna be taking Coral Blossom, which is this bright coral color. And I'll be using that as a blush. The brush I'm using right here is my e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. And I'm just layering that on top of where I just put the bronzer. And then I'm blending it a little bit with a bigger empty brush. Nothing on it. I'm going to do a little bit of highlight. And for highlight, I'm actually going to dip into the peach eyeshadow. See, there's just a little bit of sheen. I don't know if you even know if you can see it. It's very subtle. So that is the face. I'm gonna throw on some lipstick and I'm gonna be taking the NYX Tangerine Lip Pencil. So, I got my liner and then I was trying to decide between a really bold lipstick and a more subtle one. I think I'll go bold. So this is the NYX Liquid Suede in Life's a Beach, which is a really pretty coral pink color. Trying to decide if I think this is like suddenly too loud. I think I'm gonna blot it. So I'm redefining with my tangerine pencil. Blotting it down till it's way matte. And then I'm gonna take my ColourPop Lippy Sticks. This is a sheer formula one in Kiddo. And Kiddo is this really pretty sheer nude. And I think that kind of fixes it for me. It's just a little bit less crazy. I should have probably just done kiddo by itself. But there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this inspired you to go and maybe dig through some of your old makeup before you go and buy a palette. Um, if you guys have tried any of these products or if you try a similar look, tag me. I'd love to see it. And I'll see you guys next time. Wait! Elf Mist and Set. Okay, now I'm done. I'll see you guys next time.